Suzanne Collins wrote a book, touted as the book that makes 12 year olds through 17 year olds kill each other. Wait, no, teenagers that have to kill each other. It's called The Hunger Games. You probably heard about it. It's a really popular book and it's a movie now. Uh, it's probably coming on DVD soon. I haven't seen the movie, but I read this. The Hunger Games takes place in future North America dystopia called Pan Am. So now everybody in America and probably Mexico and Canada live in 12 districts. All 12 of the districts have to offer up a boy and a girl to be in the Hunger Games. And the Hunger Games is this big thing where everybody has to kill each other and only one person can come back. The cool thing about the Hunger Games is like it's one of the only books where the fans of it have no desire to ever be in the situations presented in the book. First of all, my black ass is not lasting more than a day in the woods in the Hunger Games. I can't even make it to lunchtime without eating my lunch at work if I pack it. Like, I'm not about to be hungry for more than six hours. Or thirsty. The main characters in the Hunger Games are Catpiss, Cactus, Katniss, Everdeen. And Katniss is a flower or a weed, but her dad was really into that before he got exploded in this mine accident. And Peta Malark, who is presumably named after Peta Bread because his whole family is bakers and shit. And there's Gale, but he's not a main character. He's like who Katniss is obviously secretly in love with. And he's just a side note forever. So they have their big ceremony where they're announcing who has to be in the Hunger Games. And all the people whose names are in this big bin for District 12 where Peta and Katniss are from, Katniss's little sister Prim, which I guess all the good names were taken, got chosen. Katniss decides to go in her place. And then, of course, Peta Millar is chosen for the boy tribute. Peta and Katniss have a very interesting non-relationship. Peta took a hit for the team when he was a kid because Katniss's family was starving and his baker family wasn't about to give them some bread. He like burned some on purpose and got punched in the face and then he gave it to her and that was pretty much it. Fast forward, they have this whole team of people, clothing people, coaches that are teaching them what to say. It's like a reality show of death games for kids. So they end up at the Capitol, which is somewhere away from District 12 where they live. So Pina and Katniss go to the ceremony and their outfits are on fire, but it's the future so the fire doesn't burn them, it just looks like fire. And everybody's like, whoa, District 12 is like on fire. For the Hunger Games you can get people to donate money, but if you suck and are a big cockwalk of yourself, like Katniss, then you're not gonna get a lot of sponsors. So they make up this whole elaborate thing for the interview portion of The Hunger Games where Peta is in love with Katniss. So I'm not gonna ruin it because LeVar Burton wouldn't want me to. Teenagers are dying. There are 12 districts and the only other person from a district that is very, very well um, described and interesting is Rue. Katniss and Rue hook up in the woods and they become allies. And you're supposed to get kind of attached to Rue, but one thing that I can say that's negative about Suzanne Collins' writing is that she speeds through some parts where you think she should give you more detail or more emotion. So something that is great about Suzanne Collins' writing is that every single chapter ends on a cliffhanger. So reading it, it's actually very fast because you don't want to put it down. The ending of the book makes you want to read the next one. Take note, E.L. James. Another thing that's a little weird is that on the back of this version of it, they have quotes from um, other successful writers. And we've got, you know, Stephen King, John Green, and Stephanie Meyer, the dry hump of teen fiction writers. The Hunger Games has all these awesome, like, weird future creatures because it, like, it's all like science. They have mocking jays which are like mockingbirds that have been genetically modified to pick up other people's sounds and like play it back, which it seems to me that parrots already exist, but mockingjays are like furbies. They have trapper keepers. That's not right. Tracker jackers. These bees that will sting you and like you like get real swollen and like delirious and die. It's so good. I would recommend this book quick read if you have to take the train like I do. Um, Okay. It was the That's something to do, but you don't have to take my word for it.
I'm Akilah. Queen of awkward kisses. Okay. It was the coolest. <laughs>